you today. I am coming to you today with the Cut Apart Crazy that I put together once a month with my friends Catherine O'Shea, Adam Westwood, which is you would know as Scrappy Adam and Rebecca Lockhart and Laura Alberts and myself. So how fun is that? And this collaboration is so you use just your Cut Apart sheets. And I am going to use the Simple Vintage Lemon Twist Collection by Simple Stories, which I love. And I had some cut apart sheets and I cut them all apart. I wanted to show them to you though because look how super pretty this collection is, right? So pretty. So I cut some out already. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here is some leftover. This is some four by threes and here is four by four i cut one of those out already that i was thinking about using and this is another cut apart sheet that has a lot of journaling cards in it which i love i might cut this one or this one out i'm not sure yet I'm not sure what i want to do i'm thinking about using this but i don't know so i'm going to put that to the side and i'm going to show you what i'm going to use i have two sticker sheets I believe yep I have two sticker sheets and I have the banner sheet and sometimes in the banner sheets you can get little teeny stickers off from inside to use on there and then I have the sticker book which are perfect for pocket pages because they're so thin I have brads and I have some chipboard which I might incorporate some chipboard hearts in there that would be pretty then the cut aparts that I am using are this I accidentally cut my four by six sheet for another layout and I only had two left that didn't get cut but I saved this gorgeous one isn't that beautiful I'm gonna use this as like my title card I think it's beautiful and I like the black and white and the teals mixed in with this collection. And if you haven't seen my other two videos, I am going to make an entire album of pocket pages with just events that my cousins and myself have all done together. So we just hang out or we'll have a party for somebody's birthday or whatever. So all cousins. I was thinking about putting this here and then this one down here and look at my baby cousin isn't she super cute I love her and then over here are some four by threes that I was thinking about using and I can't make a decision and then this one is a little journaling card and then here are two four by three photos and what I was thinking is I like to do a photo then a cut apart a photo and a cut apart and these are the ones I'm making a decision on I'm almost positive I want to use this this was a 4x4 four four, but I cut it down and it says freshly squeezed and I can put something here and I was thinking about putting putting this here because freshly squeezed because I'm hugging her and giving her, giving her a kiss on the cheek so I like how that has the yellow and the teal on it and I backed my four by six photos with some paper from the six by eight pad. I print my four by six photos with a white border and then I cut the borders off and then that brings it down a little bit in order to fit on a four by six piece of paper. Decided to use black and the super cool teal because look how pretty that matches. Isn't that great? So let's use a big one and put it here and then do a medium black and I'm trying to think let's do a small black too like that and I think that I am gonna call that done unless look at this it says oh happy day and I'm wondering if that would look good here better than the sentiment that is already there i'm kind of liking that you guys let's do it let's do it let's do it get my tweezers and hopefully this goes quick because i don't seem to be able to make a decision today so oh it would be nice if i put it on the right way wouldn't it 
Oh my gosh, you guys. All right. I think that's good. I like it. It's pretty. Isn't this paper beautiful? I was thinking on the bread sheet, there's like adhesive. It's like chipboard. I thought that this would look really cute right here. How can I get it on there without ruining my picture? All right, let me use my tweezers. So turn it this way and see if I can get this to be straight. over just a little bit more there and then I will come in with my scissors and just cut this little piece off It's kind of tough because it was chipboard but I got it get that out of the way all right and I think I'm just gonna do a couple of small enamel dots on this one I wonder if I have small yellow ones let's see what kind of yellow oh I look I got tiny yellow ones too all right let's just do that and I don't think that needs anything else it's good right we'll do a yellow and a blue and I want to make sure I can see the word squeeze so we'll do that come in here like this let's do that and I've managed to lose my scissors already. How does that even happen? I got them. Wow. I just used them three seconds ago. All right. I'll cut this off. And over here as well. See how that looks. It looks cute. I think that a bread would look pretty here. Let's see. Kind of brand that we have oh that lemon looks good let's do that um and then maybe this do we think we need them maybe tiny tiny ones we have this card which I struggled with so much because it was not a full 4x3 cut apart it was smaller so I went here ahead and adhered it to just a piece a different cut apart and then I took the washi tape from the collection which is super pretty let me show it to you and I put a piece here and a piece here and then I took a tab from the sticker book and put it in the middle just so it wasn't so blue on the bottom and I think I'm going to put my date here so I have ink and got my date on there the right way this is a Heidi swap date stamp I'm just going to put that on there hopefully straight yep there we go I got a little line there, but it kind of looks like it belongs there, so I'm not going to worry about it. Ooh, look at this. This one. It says forever, and it's smaller. I'm wondering if that looks good. I don't think it looks bad, so I'm going to make a decision and go for it. And let's get some enamel dots. I think I will do yellow this aqua color and I will do a tiny black all right I'm gonna call that done okay guys for this one I just took a sticker and I put one sticker heart and one chipboard sticker and I'm just gonna go right ahead and put this on the bottom like so hopefully I get this on there straight. Just adhere that right to the photo. And then I will come in with my scissors and cut this off here. And my desk is a mess. Me trying to figure out what to do with all this stuff. <laughs> and I think that's good. I don't want to put anything else on there because 
I don't want to take away from her cute little face. All right, for this one, I'm going to do something simple. I'm just going to put this tab here for a pop of teal and no other reason. Then I have this really cute circle sticker that says happy. It has a really cute yellow butterfly on it. And I just want to do that. And then I'm going to fold this around because it is from the sticker book, so it's super thin. I'm just gonna do that. All right, for this, I'm going to do just a couple enamel dots. I think I'll do yellow and then we'll do a couple teal ones, maybe. And then another yellow one. I don't wanna do black ones on this because you'll lose it in my shirt and you won't even know it's there. I wonder if we can get a flower on here. I've used this teal flower. I feel like I want to come in and use the teal photo corners instead. So I'm just going to go right over the black ones that I've already put there because if I pull them up, then it's going to get ripped. So if you change your mind, you can just put a sticker over the top of a sticker, right? So I'm just going to sideways this one. And then it'll cover up some of that empty space over on the side. Make that look better. Now for this, what I'm going to do here is I made, I took one of the cut parts and I made it into like a tag on the sides and this is where my journaling is going to go. So I'll just tuck this in here with the tab sticking out like that and then this will go over the top of it like that. Isn't that cute? And then you can pull it out when you want to read your journaling. So that'll go there. Now here kind of wanting a butterfly maybe so let's see I saw some pretty butterflies in this book maybe that one I don't really want I don't have to say anything because it's already got a sentiment on it maybe I can just do a butterfly and some enamel dots and we can call this card done wasn't sure what I was gonna do with that empty space there but that looks cute I don't know what to do. Should I just do two small ones? Three. Yeah, there you go. That's good. I'm liking that. I don't need anything else on this card because it's super pretty all by itself. So, we're going to stick that in there and have our little tab sticking out like this. And I just used my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch for that all good there so let's look close okay here's close-ups hopefully the glare isn't too super bad and then here we go those and then down here oh that glare is bad sorry and there's that okay so there a one page pocket page because this is going to be like the first page in the album so you know that's not like a double layout so I just wanted to do this one and get these pictures in the album okay and I thank you so much for stopping by to see this and it's a beautiful collection I hope you like it <laughs>